Two bodies discovered at a metro lake just one week apart. And today, police released the 911 calls, really giving us some new insight into the investigations. News Night's Clayton Cummins reports from Lake Overholzer with new information. Right now, police are awaiting a report from the medical examiner's office. That report could help answer many questions surrounding two bodies being found here one week apart. Oklahoma City, 911. It was around 5.30 p.m. February 23rd. Dispatchers received a 911 call from a man fishing with his father who made a gruesome discovery. Uh, and I think we might have found a body in the lake. With the OKC fire dive team on the way, the caller describes what he sees, the body of a Hispanic male. Are you sure it's a dead body? Yes, ma'am. You can see the, the head and the ears and... Oh, you can? You can see a face yes, and everything? Okay. Not the face because the face is tilted down. But we can see okay, the so, it's, so their face is like in the water? Yes, ma'am. Exactly one week later, March 2nd. I pulled over to stay here and I'm walking along the shore and there's a boy that's dead at the okay. lake. A distraught woman makes the same call around 2.30 in the afternoon. Police say a younger male was pulled from the south side of the lake. Is he in the water? Yeah. No, he's on the shore, like, by the water. Uh, what do you mean a boy? How old? I don't know. Like, maybe um, six. I don't know. Oh, yeah, my God. Anybody? No one's around him? No. He's, like, blue. I don't want to look at him. The medical examiner has yet to finish their report on either case. Neither body showed signs of trauma. Police have not said if the two bodies discovered are related. If you do have any information, you are asked to give the Oklahoma City Police Department a call. Reporting from Lake Overholzer, Clayton Cummins, Oklahoma's own News 9.